Hey, I got to tell you a story. A few days ago, a friend of mine gave me a call and he says, Al, I got to take you to my secret lake. Now, he's been telling me about this lake for about six weeks. The weather was right, conditions were right, and I says, okay, let's go. And uh, uh, we drove up about an hour out of my, my hometown of Brainerd, Minnesota, and make a long story short, we fished about three and a half hours. You guessed it, one two-pound bass. Secret Lake wasn't producing really, really good. Although I, gotta, I will go back this fall after the lake turns over and I will catch some spinnerbait, swim jig, and jig fish. The lake I could see has potential for big fish. Well, we're driving back and we're just talking about a lot of different things. And I, was I shared with him, you know, fishing is a lot like life. Let me explain. When I was a guide, and I guided for many years. I kept out these elaborate records on salooner movements, seasonal mo movements, uh, you, you name it, time of day, weather, wind directions. I did all of these elaborate charts. And when it was all said and done, what it shook out to be it is if I go on the water seven days in a row, I have two good days, I have three average days, and I have two bad days. And this has held true for 40 something years. And it's just like life. Look at your average week. You go to work and on a Monday and uh, uh, you might have two good days that week. Things are going really good. Business is good. Family is good. You get great costs. Three days, case sarah, sarah, nothing happened. And then you hit those two days, done. Come out of left field, you get hit with a financial deal, a sickness, an illness or something. Fishing and life got a lot in common. You don't think so? Think about it this week. Look at your seven day week. Look at the last seven days you were out on water and see if I'm not right. I challenge you to do that. Hey, from all of us here at the edge, you have a good safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. And by the way, I want to close with one scripture. It's John 1633. In a world, you will have tribulation, but be a good cheer. I've overcome the world. It means life isn't going to be a bowl of cherries all the time. See ya. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.